center of mass of a system for a regular body generally will be at the center now if i assume this is a body a regular body having a particular shape we can imagine the center of mass of this system is at the center of that body let this position equal to o let the mass of the entire system is equal to m now if we remove a small portion of the mass suppose we are removing a mass let the removing mass that the mass that what we are removing is small m that removing portion that removed portion will have the center of mass somewhere within that removed portion let that point equal to c2 now on the right side of the body there is less mass on the left side of the body there is more mass therefore the new system with a portion of the mass is no more going to have the center of mass at o rather it will shift towards the heavy side let it is shifting from the point o to a new position let that new position equal to c1 therefore c1 is the center of mass of remaining mass what is the remaining mass if we assume the total mass as m remaining mass will be m minus m where o is the center of mass of the original body whose mass is equal to capital m and c2 is the center of mass of the removed mass i would like to say c2 is the what is c2 center of mass of removed portion we have removed a small portion from the body now basing on the concept that the algebraic sum of moments about the center of mass always remains constant we know we have proved it in the previous case also we can write m1 x1 equal to m2 x2 therefore m1 x1 will be if you consider m1 as the removed mass removed mass x1 about the point o we can apply o c2 equal to remaining mass m minus m and the distance from the point o to the remaining center of mass is o c1 therefore from this we can write o c1 as small m by capital m minus small m multiplied by o c2 o c1 is the shift of the center of mass from the original location to a new location so we can call o c m as shift of center of mass because we have removed a portion is equal to small m as per the problem small m is actually mass removed from the system and capital m minus small m capital m is the total mass small m is the removed mass therefore capital m minus small m is nothing but mass remaining in the system after removed mass and o c2 if you look at the diagram o is the center of mass of the original system c2 is the center of mass of the removed system therefore o c2 is nothing but the distance between original center of mass of the system before removing the mass and the center of mass of removed system center of mass of removed system using this small formula we can calculate the shift of the center of mass if you call the shift of the center of mass as x i can write a simple way by small d where small d is the distance between the original center of mass of the system and the center of mass of the removed portion